Hello everybody, it's Mr. Paul here from Charles Dickens Primary School with your daily phonics lesson. Now we're going to play a game called Top, Middle or Bottom. That's Top, Middle or Bottom. Now, which one of these is the word the? The. Is it Top, Middle or Bottom? Shout it out. That's right, it's this one here, it's at the top. It's the word the. Okay, now our next word is all. Is it top, middle, or bottom? Which one is it? Yeah, that's right. It's the one at the bottom. It's this one here. All. We all learn together. We all make mistakes. We're all learning. Okay, now our last word is was. Was. Is it top, middle, or bottom? Is it the word at the top? In the middle or at the bottom? Yeah, it's the one in the middle, the red one, isn't it? Was. I was having a lovely breakfast this morning. I had a banana and porridge. OK, let's get rid of this and we'll do some more learning. Three, two, one. Now, the letters E and R, the letters E and R make the sound uh, uh. Yeah, that's right. They make the sound er. Uh. So it's your turn now. Make sure you say it nice and loud. The letters E and R make the sound er. Uh. Come on, really spin it. Er. Uh, er. Uh. <laughs> uh. And it's like this word, isn't it? Wa e n t. Er. Wa e n t. Er. Come on, squeeze them together. Winter! Winter! It is winter at the moment, and some of you have been making snowmen in the snow. Okay, so the letters E and R, let's write them up on our board or our piece of paper. So the letter E, start here, up, loop, and round. That's the letter E. Now the letter R, start on the line, up, down, back up again, and over. I'm going to put it in a nice cloud today. There we go. I've got some things in my bag, and they all have the er uh sound in them. And actually, most of them have got the er uh sound at the end. When we have the er uh sound at the end of the word, this is usually the way we spell it, with the letters E and R. Let's get ready to sing. What did the teacher have in his bag? 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 Uh, 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 uh. uh. Some exciting things in the bag today. Now the first thing is, oh here we go, it is a hammer, isn't it, for hammering nails in. You must be careful if you use one of these, very careful. A hammer. Okay, let's stretch that word out. Hammer. I'm going to need to stretch it more than that, come on, roll up your sleeves. Hammer. Hammer. Two parts to it. Okay. Ha. Ah. Mm. Uh. Ha. Ah. Mm. Uh. So that's. Ha. Ah. Mm. And then. Uh. Uh. Get ready to write it, okay? You can write it with me or you can race ahead and beat the teacher. Three, two, one, go. So. The letter H, go up, down, to the bottom, halfway back up, and over. That's Then it's A, the letter A. A. Now it's M. Now, there's a funny thing about this word, and I will show you. 
Okay. When a word finishes with er, it quite often has two letters the same before the er. Er, that's confusing. I'll show you what I mean, okay? So, we've got our er on the end. Now when the er comes at the end of a word, sometimes the next, the letter before is repeated. So it's not one M, it's two M's. So it's a, m, er, hammer. Now, if you left one of the M's out, that doesn't matter. You can either pop it in now and then give yourself a big tick, or you can leave it. I don't mind really at this stage. Um, give yourself two ticks though, if you wrote it before me. A hammer. <laughs> okay, what else do I have in my bag today? <clears throat> oh, we're gonna sing the other version of the song this time. What did the teacher have in his bag? 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 Uh, 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 oops, uh, 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 uh. Let's have a little look. Now, haha, -ha. this is interesting. It's in an envelope. It is a letter. A letter. Sometimes we get letters in the post. There we go. That's a letter that I received in the post from the postman or postwoman. So our word is letter. Letter. Stretch it out. Letter. Letter. Oh, it's got two parts. Letter. Letter. Sound it out. U e t a. U e. Uh, don't forget what happened to the word hammer here. Wonder if that's going to happen here with the word letter. Okay, let's write it. Ready? Go. So, ooh. That's the letter L. Huh. These are also letters, aren't they? Different to this type of letter. Ooh. And then E. Eh. Letter E. Then Letter T. Let er. Uh. Now er uh comes at the end. Er. Uh. So it's going to be two letter T's just before it. All et er. Uh. Two M's before the er. Uh, two T's before the er. Uh. Doesn't always happen. But it does quite a lot with the er uh sound. Confusing, but don't worry, I'm just showing you something new, okay? When we see new things, at first we go, huh? And then after a while we go, oh yeah, I know what you mean, Mr. Paul. Okay, now give yourself two ticks if you did it before me. Uh, and make sure you give yourself a tick if you got it right, even if you needed to correct yourself. I've got one more thing in my bag today. What did the teacher have in his bag? 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 Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 okay. Where is that bag? Oh, I love this one. So this is a duster. You can use it for cleaning, for getting rid of dust. It's a feather duster. Duster. <laughs> See, it's made out of feathers. Duster. 
Now, let's stretch this word out, okay? You ready? Oh, it's a long one, isn't it? Dust er. It's got two parts. Duster. Slowly, slowly. Duster. Excellent. Now let's sound it out. D a s t a. D a s t a. Duster. Just going to move this down a little bit so we can see me writing. Now, I bet I'm going to catch some of you out here, and I don't mean to. Ready, steady, go. So, du. Du, 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 du. Then, a. Uh. To you. Then, s. Then, t. And it's going to be er uh again. Now, you know what I said about having two letters the same before er? It's not always the case. In this word, it's only one letter T before er. Duster. Okay? Sorry about that, everybody. It's just the way the words are. It's confusing, and we just need to practice. But do you know what? If you get it wrong, and you put two T's in there, that's fine. Doesn't matter. So we've got hammer, letter, and duster. Duster. Give yourself a tick if you got it right. Two ticks if you wrote it before me. Okay? Very well done. These are such long words as well. Now let's put some in a sentence. We're just going to say the sentences today. So you might say, I got a letter in the post. I use a hammer to put up nails. Um... Mr. Paul uses a duster to dust his whiteboard. Just like this. Okay, you do whatever sentence you want to do. When you have finished that, we've got a couple of pages in our Sound Phonics book. This is Sound Phonics, phase three, book two. And it is page number 39, so that's a three and then a nine at the bottom. And we're going to say the sound, uh, 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 uh. Let's have a look at this word here. Ooh, ah, d, uh. Look at the two letter Ds there making the sound d. That's because they come before the letters E and R, uh. Now at the bottom we've got pictures. Some have got the er uh sound in, some haven't. You know what to do now. You draw circles around the ones that do. Leave the ones that don't. Then, I'm oh sorry, I've got the sniffs. Then, page 40. Okay, you're going to read these words and colour in the ones that have the er uh sound. Now, you don't have to do them all in one go. You can have a little break or even just do a few of them. I don't mind. Okay, I hope you enjoy doing that and I will see you tomorrow for more phonics.